see how we use the checklist given to draw a good graph. Let's say we are drawing a graph for V against H. First, we will draw in the axis. So V will be the Y axis and H will be the X axis. So when we are asked to draw a graph of V against H, V will be the Y axis and H will be the X axis. Remember to label your axis with the correct units. In this case, V is given in centimeter cubed and H is given in centimeters. When choosing the scale, please remember to use appropriate scales. So for this graph, for the X axis, we will use a scale of 1 is to 2 which means that every big square will be of intervals of 2. Intervals of 2 can also mean intervals of 0 0.2 or intervals of 20. For the y-axis, we will use a scale of 1 is to 5. A scale of 1 is to 5 means for every big square, we will have intervals of 5. Intervals of 5 can also refer to intervals of 0 0.5 or intervals of 50 or intervals of 500. Next, we will plot in the points into our graph. When plotting in the points, remember to use a sharp pencil and to ensure that the blobs that you use to draw out your points are not bigger than half a square in size. Now let's see how we draw the best fit line. There should be roughly an equal number of points above and below the line. The points should also be as close as possible to the line. Use a sharp pencil to draw in your line. As we can see for this graph, we get about two points above the line and two points below the line. So the points should be roughly be the same above and below the line and the points should be as close as possible to the line. If the question requires us to find a gradient, first we select two points on the line. The two points must be more than half a graph paper apart. 
Remember to add in the coordinates of the points that you have chosen. The two points should also be on the line and they should not be the data points. Preferably, they should not be the data points that you have collected from your experiment. Once you have drawn in the points and you have drawn in the coordinates of the point, draw in dotted lines to represent the gradient triangle. A good gauge to check to see if the two points that you have drawn are far enough is by looking at the size of your gradient triangle. So the size of your gradient triangle should be roughly be about half or more the size of the graph paper. This indicates to you that you have chosen two points which are about more than half the graph paper apart. And that's how we draw a good graph. You can compare the graph that you have drawn with the checklist given. Let's see another example of how we draw a good graph.